this is one of the easier instruments there is to string. Um, the strings feed through the back of the body and it has an assembly back here with a series of holes and you just take all your strings and you feed them through. I do all of them usually at once, setting it in my lap makes it easier. Um, but for here, well, we won't be doing that. There are a couple of things that, that they have done on Fender guitars that make things different, as this is the most popular guitar I wanted to bring this, most popular electric guitar, that is, um, and show you there's a couple of tricks to how to put the strings on here. It has a nice safety feature on the machine heads in that you don't have any uh, bare wire sticking out the end, so you won't stab yourself. Uh, Leo was very uh, uh, intuitive in that area. Anyway, what you do as far as stringing is, after you put all your strings on, is you, there's a standard measurement that uh, Fender the factory uses, and what they tell you to do is for these two machine heads, you cut two and a half posts past the tuner that you're gonna put the string in. So for, the, for your low E string, you go two and a half, and at that point, you cut the string, and you just take the string and stick it down into the machine head like that, can't get over, and start winding the string on. Each wrap going below the last one, just like that, very easy. Same holds true for the A string. You go two and a half past, cut it, put it in. Wind each wrap down. That's it for those. When you get to your D and your G string, or your third and your fourth string, you have to go four posts past the one that you're putting it in. Because they only have, on the old ones, the vintage series, they only have one of these little string clips here. And with only one, you need to have those extra winds on that. So I just show people, this is how I show them. I just pull it back to hold the uh, string at the tuner that I'm gonna put it in, pull it back to the low E string, and go four tuners past, cut it, put it in the tuner, and wrap it down. Grab a peg winder. And that gives enough tension right here so that the string won't pop out of the nut. It's very important on a Fender or any guitar. The G string or third string is exactly the same thing. And you go four tuners again. One, two, three, four. can't make a big enough point about each wrap being below the last one. Being neat will make you stay in tune a lot better, make it a lot easier to change strings. Um, it just works out a lot better in the long run. For your first and second string, you go back to the two and a half measurement. So you pull it back and go two and a half. You cut it. Put it under the little clip there. On electric guitars, you have a vast uh, a variety of gauges of strings that are available. Fortunately, all, all the manufacturers that package strings have basically put together the same packages uh, of 